Hello, my name is Joy, and I would like to show you some new functionality that we have added to the TraceQL results. This functionality basically allows you to query for multiple span sets per trace. It's generally available in Grafana 10.2. Now, let me show you how this would manifest itself on the UI. So let's open up tracing. Let's go to the TraceQL query type tab, and let's start by writing a query. Let's go HTTP method is equal to get pipe. And the language that we use as a syntax that we use to basically manifest this functionality in the UI is by. So this is where we specify what we want to group um, by essentially. So I'm going to say resource dot service name. I'm going to run the query. And as you can see, we are now essentially grouping the service name in the span IDs, in the spans themselves. So instead of getting a single list of all our spans and span IDs, now we can actually group them by arbitrary metrics. So arbitrary tags, sorry. So in this case, it's the service name. Um, you can see we have two different services, load generator and ride sharing app. And I can simply click on either of these links here to go directly to the trace and to that span. So as you can see, the first one was load generator. If I open up a different trace, which also have load generator and ride sharing app, and click either of those links there for the span ID, it'll take me to that trace and to that particular span ID as well. So you don't uh, have to group uh, or buy the service name. You could also use other different uh, tags that you have, for example. So it could be host name, cloud region. It could also be uh, group by on the span. So you group by the method, the URL or the status code would be particularly helpful as well. Um, for the moment, I'm gonna keep this to service name. So thank you for watching the video and have a great day.